Yes, sir, and that, my good fellow, was your lucky day. Kind of like winning a mini lottery, huh? Uh huh? Well, that was my mistake. In my sincere effort to put the customer way out front, I did not understand we have costs associated with the upside. So I just gave away the upsizes for free. If I keep giving away the store, I could hurt our company in the long run. Then we would not be able to provide great service and fine products to you. Well, you guys actually do serve a great burger, and it has always cooked up just right. Go ahead, give me the gut buster with a diet, of course. Say, what will my total be? Great, that'll be the biggest burger special. Gut buster size, 69 cents extra. Total is 4.43. Please pull forward. Hey, gang, add a gut buster to the side of B. Gut buster with the side of B, come help. <laughs> <laughs> Great Josh, we give the customer what they want and add to our bottom line, it's a win-win situation for everyone. Keep up the good work. Yeah, one more scene. Scene three has Diane and Dennis discussing a business problem over breakfast. You've already met Diane, manager of Snappy Burgers. Dennis is the manager at Apple Print. Diane and Dennis spent several years ago at Carnegie Course, and they each time trying to brainstorm about problems in their respective businesses. Good morning, Diane. Good morning, Dennis. How are you? receiving output ready files and other criteria given to us by the customer. Frequently, when the job comes in, the files are not output ready, and sometimes the job is even significantly different than folder. This is not a problem. We can handle changes. The problem is that we don't have a system of stopping the job, creating a change order, and giving the customer a new price before we proceed. We even have the ability to create change orders with our Hagen system, but we don't use it. That seems simple enough. I had a similar problem recently and I just talked to an employee and the problem was solved. Diane, I don't think it's quite that simple in the manufacturing environment where so many people touch the job. The changes between the quote and the job could come up anywhere in the production process. <clears throat> For example, if a job was significantly di different than quoted, sales or ACs would know and should stop the process and report the job. Or the problem may come to light when we discover that we must order full cartons of paper, but we didn't quote the job that way. Also, files may not be output ready. This is discovered in imaging. We need to notify the customer of the additional cost and code the additional time to customer alls. Sometimes even later in the process, drilling or shrink wrapping may be added when the job is partway through the process. Finishing doesn't know that this wasn't quoted, and so we don't code that time to customer alteration. As you can see, we can incur additional cost anywhere in the process, and frequently this additional cost isn't captured in a way that we can pass it on to the customer. I've even thought about bringing in a consultant to help us solve this problem. The printing industry is full of consultants. I know a lot of com companies use consultants, and that can get very expensive. While the advice is great, oftentimes the consultant is not part of the implementation, which leads to limited success. You've told me you have a strong management team and good employees. I also know that you spent a lot of time and money learning the bidding process and SPC. Why don't you set up teams to look at each of these areas of lost revenue and establish procedures to capture and build additional costs? By the way, wasn't it Emmy who said to solve problems, you must be willing to stop the process? Yes, that is, that is something that we learned in, in Deming and, and uh, setting up a team, Diane, or teams is an excellent idea. Consultants are expensive and frequently not effective. We do have good people. We can set up teams and solve this problem internally. I mentioned that I had solved a similar problem at Snacky. We were only talking about an additional 49 cents, but all of that went to the bottom line. That 49 cents <coughs> adds 14 percent to my sales and profit on that job. How much money are you talking about? Diane, since we don't do a good job of identifying all of the differences and changes from the quote, we really don't know. However, I can give you some conservative estimates. 
If we spend an extra 30 minutes on a job because their files are not, out, not output ready, that's an extra $30. We do that on 100 jobs a month, that's $36,000 a year. Another example uh, is our write downs. Our write downs from suggested sell are over a million dollars a year. Only 10% of that is attributable to the work that we should have dealt for. That equals $100,000. If we can stop the job and re-quote up front when the job is different, and if we can capture alterations as the, as the job proceeds through the plant, I believe we could easily add over $100,000 to the bottom line. Just think, over $100,000, we can start working, working this problem today. Very, very and the point is, should we be well taking that the cost to provide those extra services, the cost to do those extra things, 